Hello family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner. And this weekend I am at the Hancock Homestead. And today it is um, Sunday, June the 2nd. And as you can see, the sun is shining today. Yay! I am so happy. In fact, I was so happy the sun was shining that I came out and I just started working on all these projects I had in my head and forgot to bring you guys along. So I've actually been out here working uh, most of the morning and uh, took a lunch break and now I'm ready to head back out. So um, I'm kind of filthy dirty, but like I said, I've been working. Uh, it, feels, it feels really good to be outside working. And I want to show you uh, kind of what I've been working on. So come along with me and I'll show you what the project for today is. Paolo, are you enjoying the sunshine, huh? I know, it's so beautiful, huh? Yeah. He says, I'm just going to lay here and soak this in. All right. Well, the first thing I want to do is go over here and grab the wagon. I've been doing this without the wagon, but I think I want to use the wagon this afternoon. We're going to go out here to the chicken house. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you is um, the project that I've been working on with the chicken house and the chicken runs. My chickens have been escaping their runs. Um, we let them out into the runs and before we know it, and they're in the yard. And as most of you know, I don't like that because they leave holes and they dig up my flowers and it's just a nuisance. So I kind of sat out here this morning and just watched them after I let them out to see what would happen. And instead of going over the fences, they were going under. So after walking the perimeter of the fence line, I found that there were large um, gaps under the fence, large enough for the chickens to crawl under. So what I've been doing is I put this board up here because this was the biggest gap. And I've been going along, filling in the fence line with dirt. And this is the only place I'm going to put a board. And the only reason I'm putting the board here is because, I don't know if you can see, but the gap is really high right there. So I'm putting this board in this extra precaution there but anyway and then I'm putting in dirt kind of hold it in place yeah all right and then what I'm gonna do or what I'm doing is I am planting clumps of fescue grass along the perimeter on the outside and every once in a while I've been putting a clump on the inside so that they kind of grow together and this fescue grass is going to act as a natural barrier a natural fence line we have this fescue grass growing everywhere because it is what we plant in our fields to be uh, mowed as hay so we have it growing everywhere naturally and what I'm doing is I'm just digging up clumps and transplanting them along the fence line here. So where am I getting the clumps? Well I'm getting them out of my garden so let me show you. <laughs> See if you look in here I've got the chickens pinned in because I'm trying to see where their escape routes are at. And I've found that one down there. And then I found one up here. I'll show you it. Because this is what I've been working on this morning. Get my wagon. 
So right in here, between that post and the chicken house was a big gap under that fence. And I've got it all filled in now with dirt and fescue. So, they cannot get out of there. They've already come over here and tried. <laughs> and they cannot get out there anymore. Okay, and then they were coming down here and there were gaps along this fence line. So I have filled it in with dirt and tall fescue. And now they cannot get under the fence there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plant this tall fescue grass all the way down. Um, I like the way it looks. John likes the way it looks. And it's going to be a good preventive measure. So, let's go get some more fescue. See, they're staying in so far. Of course, I've only got them in this side because I fixed the holes on this side. I'm still working on the holes down there. So that's going to be my afternoon job. That's what I'm working on now. So, I haven't been able to grow anything else in this garden. But as you can tell, there are clumps of fescue grass. So I've just been going along and digging up clumps. So I'll show you. So here is where I have already dug out some clumps, and I mean just look at my garden. There's like standing water everywhere. Those tarps are supposed to be getting rid of weeds over there next to the trellises. But I think this year is going to be a gone year, or it's going to be a late year. But I have lots of clumps of fescue I can transplant here. So, so let me show you my boxes. See, they have just water in here. I mean, we might eventually be able to plant something in the boxes because they're uh, easier to drain, you know, since they're up. I bought these tarps because they said they were 8 by 10s and my boxes were 5 by 10s. Yeah. I even double checked the package and they were like, yeah, 8 by 10, 8 by 10. Well, I think they're 8 by 8s. <laughs> because I've got like 2 feet at the end of each of these boxes that's not covered. And so my grasses are growing, but it's okay. There are my garden boxes this year so far. We'll see what happens. Are you playing in the mud puddle, huh? We'll get you guys set up here and I'll show you what I've been doing. So this is why I'm all muddy. This is what I've been working on this morning. I just find a clump of this uh, tall fescue. It grows in a clump. I just kind of dig all the way around it. And because the ground's so wet, my shovel just goes right in. And then I just 
lift the clump out. Whoops. Ooh. Now I throw it in my wagon here. And then I go on to my next clump. See that chicken right there? She has been over here just looking and looking and looking for her place to escape. It's gone, isn't it? Yes. I have dirt on the inside, tall fescue on the outside. So far they have not gotten out. Now I'm working on this row here. Now see that big clump is already there. And it's growing on both sides. So I don't think they'll get out there. But I need to fill in right through here. I'm just 
kind of like finding where to dig and then I dig a hole that's about the size of what I need my clump to be. and then I'll go in and line the inside. Sometimes a weed doesn't always have to be a weed. <laughs> Sometimes you can find alternative uses for it. Like, I do not have enough money right now to buy anything to go along here. So I'm just using what I have, my natural resources, and it's going to work. Because these have strong, deep roots. So even if they tried to dig around it, they won't get through it. And like I said, I'm putting a line on the inside too. Um, yeah, my, my battery shut off while I was working, but, uh, and it's evening now, but I'm happy to say that I probably have 80% of the front finished, and, uh, I thought I would take you and show you it, okay? you help today, Pablo? Yes, you did. You helped, didn't you? Yeah, let's show them what we got finished. Okay, okay so um, along the front here, which is the south side, um, I just went along and any um, holes under the fence, which were not dug by the dog, in case any of you were wondering, they were not done by a dog. You could tell that. Um, it's just where the ground happened to settle and the chickens would scratch along the fence to get more grass or grains and uh, it was just a matter of nature. The dog did not do any of these holes. Um, but any little holes that I saw where they could go under the fence, I filled in. And I have the dirt pretty high up on the fence now. I did go ahead and leave this board here. Because over here by the gate, there's a hole right in there. And I'm hoping that board will fill that in enough. 
Well, I think that looks really pretty with the grasses. And it should serve the purpose of a barrier. All right, let's go down and look at the other side. So I did this little corner here because I noticed that there was a gap and they were able to get in under that. And so I went way down. This is actually the second layer. So up to the first, up to the second layer is dirt. And the first layer is under dirt. I did it between that post and the chicken house here. So that gap is now filled in. There were no gaps along the gate yet. See, that's where there's a ridge right there. And there's a ridge right here. So, because this fence is grown into that grass. So I don't think they're getting in are getting out through here because there is no gap. Might need to put one here later, but yeah, it goes down pretty deep too. I just ran out of energy for today. But there were some pretty good sized gaps here where they were going in under the fence. So all of that is now filled in with tall fescue. And it looks very natural and yet serves the purpose of a ridge line. And I'll take you in. And then see on this side what dirt I took out to put the Fescue clumps in, I just lined up along this side. And there's at least one strand of wire buried because there's this bottom strand right there, and if you go along, it disappears underground. And this eventually may have to have some work done to it. But you can see right now that that first row is down there very, very close to the ground. So I'm going to stop for tonight. Because as you can tell from the shadows, it is evening. Well, friends, I am filthy dirty. But let me tell you, it was so much fun to be able to work outside today and to be in the sunshine. We've had no rain today. <laughs> I think it's been the first day in a month that we have not gotten some kind of rain during the day. Of course, the day's not over with. We could possibly get some tonight, but my day is over with because I need to get inside, take a shower, watch a little TV, eat some supper, and uh, just call it an evening. So, if you want to know what's going on in my corner of the world, because there's no telling where I'm gonna be from day to day, be sure to hit that subscribe button to Kilms Country Corner. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now. Paulo's been a big help today, haven't you? Keeping me entertained. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, I miss him when I'm gone. I miss him so much whenever I'm gone. Do you miss me? Huh? Yeah, I know you do. I know. I don't like leaving you. No, I like being your friend. I don't want to be here with you.
But sometimes other people need me too. Yes. I know. Hey. Hey, Miss Spice. Yes. I know you're going to get jealous now, aren't you? Yes, Miss Spice just need a little bit of attention. I know I haven't seen her forever either. Yes. I just wanted you all to see that Paula was still here. Still my friend. Was a big help today, weren't you? 